New research led by Griffith University on Australia's Gold Coast and Andres Bello University in Chile has shown that surfing contributes about $1 trillion a year to the global economy by improving the mental health of surfers. The research has been published in the Nature Portfolio Journal, NPJ Ocean Sustainability. For the Gold Coast alone, the research team estimated the benefits to be valued at between US $1 and $3.3 billion per year. Professor Emeritus Ralph Buckley from Griffith University's School of Environment and Science said the study's aim was to estimate the large-scale economic value of mental health benefits across the entire representative population of individuals who took part in recreational surfing, which is a similar approach Professor Buckley has adopted in previous estimates for visitors to national parks. Mental health benefits may differ in degree from occasional to frequent surfers. Outcomes may sometimes be perceived as negative, with injuries and overcrowding as principal causes. As with many thrill and skill adventure activities, surfing can act as a behavioural addiction. At least some surfers suffer substantial withdrawal symptoms if deprived of surf. The reason why there are such big numbers in the value of recreational activities like surfing for mental health benefits is that for almost every kind of job, you have to pay attention for safety, skill, service or decisions, Professor Buckley said. If you are stressed and not paying proper attention, your job performance suffers and that costs money for your employer or your business. Outdoor activities such as surfing reduce stress as long as you can get a few good waves. Surfing has a powerful psychological effect and that has a substantial value. Professor Buckley said that for economic valuations, mental health benefits acquired via surfing may also lead to large-scale lifestyle choices such as residential location and work preferences and these can create secondary economic effects, e.g via property prices. The economic value of surf amenities also overlaps with beach amenities more broadly, Professor Buckley said. Taking all these factors into account, we estimated the mental health value of surfing for our case study site, the Gold Coast in Queensland, Australia. The Gold Coast is a beach tourist destination and its economy is driven largely by real estate, tourism and trade and professional services such as building, healthcare and education. Its 2023 resident population is estimated at 732,000. In 2008, there were 65,000 to 120,000 surfers. Surfer numbers have doubled over the past five years, so we can estimate greater than 130,000 surfers currently. The mean number of beach visits per capita in Australia is six per year. The mean number of surf sessions per Gold Coast surfer is reported at approximately 100 per year. The economics are straightforward, Professor Buckley said. We simply took existing health economics calculations for parks and green space and applied them to surfing. Professor Buckley and co-author Dr. Mary Ann Cooper from Andres Bello University in Chile triangulated the economic value of mental health benefits from surfing using the two different estimation methods currently available. Using the productivity plus healthcare estimation method, If surfing reduces stress from high to low levels, it creates an estimated 10% improvement in per capita workplace productivity, plus an approximate 10% reduction in costs of mental health care. The value of that stress reduction via surfing is estimated at approximately $5,000 per person per year. Surfing therefore contributes an estimated $0.65 to $2.1 billion per year via surfer mental health benefits. This can be injected directly into the Gold Coast economy via both employment and healthcare. Professor Buckley said this study provided an approximate top-down estimate, and for more accurate estimates at local scales, the team needed to track mental health measures and possible influential factors for large panels of surfers over multiple years. Our research also makes a contribution to the UN Sustainable Development Goals, especially SDG 14, which is oceans. Therefore, the economic value of surfing is an argument for the conservation of our coastlines.